Hey, what's up, guys? Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel. So, obviously, the channel does a lot of coverage on classic retro toys, and today I'm super excited to unbox this shipment of classic Kenner Aliens toys that just came in. So, what's the assortment in the box like? Well, let's check it out together. Okay, so I'm a bit surprised that the packaging did not come bubble wrapped. But this box is practically filled to the brim with carded figures. We're gonna pick them out at random. And so here we find the Alien Queen. Now I'm pretty sure that this was the very first Alien Queen figure ever made for the mass market. I remember seeing this on shelves in the early 90s and really wanting a set but I didn't have the money for it. It is pretty small for such an iconic, monstrous creature, but this was the best we could get back then, and it's pretty darn good. As you can see, there's some great promotional artwork on the back of the card. And looking at the instructions, the queen has tail whipping action and a lunging in her mouth, just like in the movies. Now the queen was practically the only creature figure from the series that followed any design that was seen in the movie. The rest of the figures, as we'll soon see, consisted of a wild assortment of practically anything that a zoo could throw at you. Here we have the very cool and menacing looking wild boar alien. So the basic idea here would be that the alien eggs would grow inside the host bodies of your average mammal or insect and the result would be this demon spawn thing that gave birth out of it. I like how this thing retains the same xenomorph skull structure in the head. Now on the back of the card we have a basic write up on the plot of this wave of toys. It seems the predators are now the good guys. Notice the exaggerated usage of multiple exclamation and question marks here. Can the predator stop the evil aliens before the galaxy is destroyed? The writer must have been going hysterical with anxiety. Now this thing has a cool action feature with raised plastic spikes that pop out of its head. Okay, so now it's time to bring in the Space Marines. This is supposed to be Corporal Hicks, but it looks nothing like actor Michael Bean from the movie. You see that he's got a ton of weapons at his disposal. None of it are movie accurate, of course. Interestingly, even the figures came with stickers to be applied to their uniform and weapons. This normally was a feature that would be reserved for vehicle toys. So on the back of the packaging, surprise, we have a bio card with the actual actor's face on it. All in, this is a decent figure with lots of accessories and play value if you are building up your marine corp. Okay, wow, so this one's a real showstopper. I'm really, really liking this. It's the killer crap alien. It's like you mixed up aliens with your favorite seafood. And can I take a moment to talk about how great the packaging art is? Seriously, the imagery is really striking. 
And the crab alien design is fantastic. I also really like the way the creature is packaged with the tail curled around. It reminds me of the poster art for Alien Tree, with the alien creature resting in a circle. So on to the back of the card and we find this more hysterics in the description. It talks about the alien predator war and ends with a screaming statement, who will win? Again, tons of exclamation and question marks. Now we see a great assortment of other figures and vehicles from the series and the instructions show you that the crab alien has twin chest buster missiles. As if the acid spitting mouth and large pincer claws could not get the job done, but having chest bursters fly out is just overkill, man. All in, the killer crab alien is a total win and worth tracking down on eBay. Okay, what's next? So here's something that looks a bit different. It's the 10th anniversary 2-pack that combines both a marine and an alien. This one is the Night Cougar alien and Vasquez. The Night Cougar has a very sleek and innovative design. It's cool how the Xenomorph skull doesn't look out of place despite this being a mixture of different animals. And Vasquez here actually looks like the actress who played her. Definitely one of the best marine sculpts in the line. The back of the packaging is interesting. It actually shows off the entire wave of two packs in the line. Along with all the instructions and directions. Now the 10th anniversary wave was possibly the last series in the canon line of Aliens toys and released to coincide with the 10th anniversary of the Aliens movie. I heard however that Vascasia was an exclusive only to the UK. Well let me know in the comments if you know of any other exclusives to the series. Okay, more marines. And here's another popular character from the movies. It's Bishop. Except that Bishop wasn't exactly a marine in the film and the toy also looks nothing like the actor. In fact, the figure looks like a cross between the Terminator and Robocop with the Gatling gun from Predator thrown in. So on the back of the card, we see that the bio once again uses the actor likeness. But here we have Lance Henriksen with some photoshopped add-ons on his head. I guess the rationale here was to make a bishop figure for the series, but action-packed enough so the kids would actually buy it. Okay, here we have something really interesting. It's the Kenner Electronic Swarm Alien. Now the packaging on this thing seems to have come undone from the heat. Look how cleanly the plastic is separated from the blister card. So great, looks like I don't have to waste time figuring out if I'm going to open this. Now this here is something pretty unique. I don't remember ever seeing this in stores. Okay, so this thing has got electronic sound and lights and the original batteries are still inside. Do you think it still works? What say we give it a go? Holy shit!
it still works after something like 25 years being in package? Now coupled with the way this thing looks, that sound it makes sounds like something that flew straight out of hell. It's like a screeching eagle remixed with a screaming hell demon. Tell me if you thought this looked awesome. Now here's a look at the packaging and instructions. So looking at how this thing is put together, the flying bee or locust part of the creature attaches to a walking host body. Now that concept is about 10 times as horrifying looking. Now just checking this thing out, I have to say that this is truly creepy looking. In fact, the whole Aliens toy line is possibly the creepier series ever targeted for kids. Now the detailing is astounding. And bear in mind that this stuff actually came out before anything from McFarlane toys back in the day. I'm guessing kids in the 90s lost a lot of sleep being kept awake in terror of these things. I have a hard time imagining moms picking this up at the store when it's enough to give even the parents nightmares. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up part one of the video here. Do let me know in the comment section what you think about these figures and if you want to see more of what's in the box. And don't forget to subscribe to the Retro Toy Escapades channel so I can keep bringing you more content like this. Thank you.